catching the good stuff. This is what YouTube wants to see. Even Look at that shoe tying technique. Let's zoom in on that real quick. <laughs> What are we doing today? Oh, we're starting? We're starting. You don't want to be in the shot? This is your shot. I guess this is my shot. It's kind of my car. It is your car. Are you slowly panning to show everybody my car? So obviously you guys seen a lot of content about a, a very beloved van over there. But we're finally going to do something mechanical on, you know, our other prides and joys. Me and Justin do have other things that we work on. And uh, this lovable pain in my ass is my... 1984 Nissan 300ZX Turbo. And we'll do some videos to actually do some full overviews on both of our project cars and where they started, where they're kind of coming from, but let's talk today about what we're gonna do here. So the reason we're starting on this project is this car has been struggling for about a year to really be able to idle well. It runs incredibly rich and Whenever you get around 2400 RPMs, regardless of gear, it starts bogging really bad. Like, it hesitates like a mother. And we're kind of guessing it's maybe a major vacuum leak that's kind of turned into a boost leak at this point. Um, the valve cover gasket's been going bad since I've owned the car, and now, I mean, you could rev up the engine, you could watch the white smoke come out of it. So, valve cover gasket's pretty bad. So, today, we are going to be tearing down the top of the engine to actually be able to remove the valve covers. Um, on this engine, you have your throttle body over here, which feeds into the intake plenum, which covers the majority of the valve cover itself. So you have to actually fully remove the plenum. So we're gonna take this opportunity to obviously replace the valve covers, but I also have a plenum spacer that you can put in between the upper and the lower plenum that helps to um, reduce heat and everything. And at the same time, I'm also gonna take the opportunity to recover both my valve cover and the intake uh, plenum cover here. We're going to do a nice gold because, you know, engine's got to have a heart of gold. So we're going to start with this project. Um, we're also going to replace some vacuum lines here and there, as well as reroute some coolant lines as we eliminate a few things like the, uh, the heater core and the water chicken and everything like that. So first we got to start by actually removing the plenum, which is we're going to have to remove all the electronics. We're also going to delete the EGR, which means we get to cut through the EGR pipe that leads from the... Uh, passenger side exhaust manifold up to the EGR, so that should be nice and fun to try to remove it. We're going to cap that on the plenum as well as use like a, a threaded nut on top of the manifold itself. So, yeah, we're going to start by unplugging a lot of electrical connectors and some vacuum lines and getting the plenum off. So, I'll update you guys in a little bit. hard line that basically links the in, or the exhaust manifold on the passenger side up to the EGR valve. So, because these things are just so sealed and rusted together basically over, you know, 30 years. So we're just gonna basically angle grind it as close to this point as we can. So we'll be able to just remove that completely off. And then here at the bottom, we're gonna zip it again down a little bit lower to make it a little bit easier to remove that. that. And then I've got a, hard to see, but I've got a cap, a threaded cap that's going to go in there and then I block off plate for the actual EGR valve on it, the plenum. So, so you're just making it easier to remove? Oh yeah. I'm not going to fight 30 years with just PV blaster, so. That's a battle you wouldn't win. No. Vacuum line matters. Oh, that just chewed through the fing disc. Oh. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> Wait, did it cut through though? I think it did. Oh, it's almost there. It's not oh, all the way through. Can you, oh, come on, focus camera. There we go. Seems like the battle yeah. still. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Wow, I've never seen that do that. Let me see it. Let me show that again. That's a first. Wow. <laughs> nice. Gotta love Harbor Freight tools. Gotta love them. At least it's only $1.99 for another one. Exactly. Alright, well, good thing we got a on them. 
in the meantime. On. Just finished putting in a new starter. What do you mean got demonetized? We don't make any money. <laughs> Take right. two. It takes two to make things go around. <laughs> takes more than two normally. I thought it was three times charm. Yeah, that's if we make it to third times. Alright, you guys ready? There you go. Boom. You your arch pull right off. Three less. <laughs> Well, in a rusty kind of way. Should pull right off, huh? Well, all right, let's get the rest of this. Fuck <laughs> yeah. too soon. <laughs> Much better angle. Yep. Now I'm doing shatter. All right, now try and pull it out. There you go. There you go. Boom. Look at that. Who needs emission controls? Hell no. Screw this EGR. It's not even going in the parts box. It's going in the garbage. Nice. May I fish that out later. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Solid for scrap. Yep. These budgets aren't cheap. So if you want to come over and look at it on the intake point upside. Oh, hold on. Basically, you got just a big old open hole. That will. That there. Our TV is a hole. I got a gasket or just like a little block off plate. That we'll screw down onto it. Well, there's your problem. So you got a big ass hole in it. The bottom part should be fun. We'll get there when we get there. Okay, get there. All right. Cool. To be continued. I was hoping for this moment to be much more magical. Cars are never <laughs> magic. <laughs> They're just effort. <laughs> I'm going to try to use the, the plenum itself. Just pull it. That's what I think we're going to do. Kids, don't try this at home. Boom. Boom. What? There's nothing there. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't. Nice. <laughs> what was that? EGR. Uh, Worth it. Unfortunately, you can't hang that one on the wall because it's got to go back on the car. It does have to go back on the car. I wish we were just gutting it all and welding it back together. I mean, I don't have a TIG welder. I ain't got Brad like that right now. <laughs> all right. Well, that's off. I need to stick some towels down in there. Check my cylinders. So what's next? Um, we need to get the piece of the EGR off still. And then the valve covers? Yeah, and then the valve covers. Sweet. Yep. Alright. Back to it. Onwards and upwards. Spear first though. Oh yes. My thighs hurt. <laughs> My thighs. <laughs> More. I think that's five. Go straight to your thighs. <laughs> you look like you've had a good time. It's been fun. You probably had less fun over than that nightmare. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, so... While Carter's been working on his project, I was going to help my brother out with his car over here. We changed the starter. That was really easy. And then uh, we were going to go replace his lower control arms. And I was trying to just replace the control arm without replacing anything else. You can't see it, it's too dark, but I was in the process of putting the control arm back in and the uh, axle popped out, spilt transmission fluid all over Carter's driveway. Sorry. It's okay, your dad's got stuff. And uh, I don't have the right tools to finish it, so I was gonna have to wait until tomorrow. So we're gonna focus on getting the rest of this taken apart. 
Well, we just want to get the valve covers off. That's that's the goal here, which when I tried this two years ago, it was a pain in the ass to try to get them to separate. So hopefully now that we've removed the plenum and we can actually smack it from all angles with a rubber mallet or something, um, it should hopefully release a little bit better. But in the meantime, after I removed the plenum, I did go ahead and delete the, uh, the water cock. So, nice. Yeah. You castrated your engine? Yes, I castrated the engine. But you know what? It's going to be way more efficient now. Remember that, fellas. Um, so, yeah, all this nonsense was here. So we had a water line running out through the, uh, through the water cock that would open up a vacuum, um, obviously, to allow uh, hot water to go into the heater core. So we live in Florida. It doesn't matter. And my AC stuff didn't work anyway so might as well just delete it make it a little more efficient so i'm just going to be taking a 5 8 hose and then just routing it from this pipe over to here if you can see it so but yeah we're going to start um valve covers are just held on with screws so we're just going to start unscrewing and that's crazy to me that the valve cover let me see if i can get it the valve cover is just little phillips head screws yep just little phillips head I screws i don't know if you're going to be able to see it no nah, you can't see it but they're just little phillips head screws Yep, but it holds it, holds it enough. So, but that won't be what's keeping it on. I guarantee it. <laughs> It'll be thirty-five years of grease and heat. So. Yep. Right. Should be lots of fun. All right. So we have successfully removed one side. Carrying the tripod with me, and uh, by all accounts, it it really doesn't look that bad. It's pretty so, easy to get off to. Took a tiny bit of prying on one of the areas that kind of set up well for it. Ah, yeah. release that pressure. And it's uh, it's old. That it is. That doesn't look so bad. Let's take the... This side's a bit grimier. Yeah, it's really grimy. And a couple of those screws were loose. When I say loose, I mean loose. I think I got every screw. Yeah, I think you did. Well, we said we were going to work on it all night. It'd be a disappointment if it came off easy, right? Yeah. I guess when that sets, we could take a look at the EGR. Yeah. Oh, this one over here? Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, hold on. This one's a doozy. Dun dun dun. Shit, huh? Oh no. Sorry, YouTube. I just dropped it. You want to do the honors or you want me to do it? Ah, oh, you can do the honors on this one. Alright. I had the fun of cutting it out. <laughs> Come on. Oh, f yeah. It's not smoking. It is smoking. <laughs> Hold on, let's put the light back on it. Woo, look at that. You can see the smoke. Oh. Woo! Oh, man. It's kind of hot. <laughs> I honestly think it's just a bunch of dust. It's like exhaust dust. Oh. All right. Sweet. Oh yeah. That's what you call plug DGR. There we go. Look at that. We're Boom. done. We're done with one thing. Sorry. Of. We're still gonna walk off the plenum and bolt it out here. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. I think my <laughs> light's dying. Wow, why is it already dying? We're not using them that much. No, but well, they also have not been charged since I got them, so. Alright, well, it's ready to keep enduring hell. Alright, so quick update. Hold on.
<laughs> that right there. I lost is too the, many 14s this is the trying to do this. Okay, don't bitch about losing 14s when you had them in your pocket the whole time, you mother. In, in the pocket. I still don't have the short 3 eights. Um, so basically, there is one 14 millimeter bolt on the bottom side of the AC compressor bracket that perfectly sits above the motor mount that basically the only thing you can dream of putting on there is an open-ended wrench but it's been so you know, grimed up and locked in from so many years that it will not move there's no way to get enough of this on here because there's still there's like a ridge that sits right here on the head so you're pressing down and basically just eventually you're warping the nut or warping the head of the bolt and your wrench just slips off every time so uh we gotta get this valve cover off and i'm never going to put ac back in it again so we're just gonna cut off the piece of the ac compressor bracket that is preventing the valve cover from coming off so that will probably take all night and every single cutoff disc we have, but we can give it a try. When in doubt, cut it out, right? The ring doll method. Let's do it. Let's do it. Almost there. Oh my god. I mean, it should be like you've chewed enough away. Thin enough. You just let her eat now. Just start right at the top and just go to town. It's thicker over here than you, you can see, though. Yeah, you can't really see it with the camera. Yeah. Boom. Look at that. Freedom! And we only had one wire casualty. Yeah, there was, uh... Hold that real quick. There was, uh, the casualties of war here. We'll solder it back together. You wanna do the honors? Okay. Take the valve cover off? Right, the next round of gloves. <sighs> Use like 60 today. Don't be silly. Wrap your fingers in. Latex gloves. Yeah, we're a nitro family. Nitro. This is ugly, but it worked. <laughs> and we only used one cutoff of it, that was wrong. If it doesn't come out now. Is it still not clearance enough? It's not. That's not a good sign. I'm just gonna have to take this. I'm just gonna have to go like through here. You're gonna cut more? How close is it? It's not getting over the valve, like the valve train. The issue, I think. Yeah. So it's still just colliding right there. Yeah, I see it. Kill me. All right. All that was holy. It's free. Yes. <laughs> No! Yes! Boom. Look at that. Finally! That took way longer than I should have. Pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah. That train doesn't look too bad. About what you'd expect from a 30 plus year old car. Cool. All right. It's been leaking oil on that side. What have we learned? 
I mean, I love you, Nissan, but <laughs> really poor. I mean, I guess you didn't think anybody in their right mind would delete AC, but come on. Uh, we've learned the same lesson we learn every time. When in doubt, cut it out. Yeah, that, and it's always going to be harder than you expect. Well, that too. When in doubt, cut it out, Ryan. I did Ryan. not expect to do that. I expected it would be hard, but that was not the reason I thought it would be hard. I thought it would be separating the valve cover from the um, head would be the hardest part. But I guess in its way, it still sort of was. Well, there you have it. Yep. I guess you want to end it there? Yep. Next, we're going to be, um, this coming week, I'll be taking the valve covers and intake plenum cover to some sort of powder coating shop and getting them powder coated gold. It's going to look fantastic. Nice. I'm polish the tops. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah, I think we're good. I'm done for the night. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Well. Remember, kids, your hardest working tool.